Hey there, my name is Kirk and you're watching Cars Created and in today's video I'm going to show you how I got these professional grade welds using one of the cheapest welders you can buy today. Let's get into it. So I've been welding for a very long time now, enough time to learn what to do, what not to do, and some tips and tricks to save yourselves a lot of money and get professional results. And no matter where you go, everyone's gonna tell you that you are going to need a TIG welder, and you're going to need a nice TIG welder at that, and plenty of years of experience to even achieve the quality of welds that I have achieved on this piece. What I wanna tell you is, that's not always the case. There are other ways of doing things. And remember, there are three ways of doing things, the right way, the wrong way, and the way that works. And I'm always doing things the way that works because it saves me money. And in order to save money and still get these wonderful, wonderful welds, all you have to do is get one of these cheap titanium flux welders from Harbor Freight. Now this isn't the cheapest one they make. This is like the next line up. This is not the Chicago Electric. So this is what's important is you don't get Chicago Electric. You have to get the next step up to Titanium Easy Flux 125. This bad boy is what's gonna get the job done. Now I know what you're saying. You don't get those welds with a flux core welder. And I want to say that, do you still believe in Santa Claus? And remember that seeing is not believing, but believing is seeing. And I'm going to show you exactly that in this video. So I got to get my workspace set up. So I got all these extension cords enabled to reach the socket in the house that I need to get to. I know they say you plug into like a GFI socket or something. I just don't have any. So I got to run these into the house. This house doesn't have any electrical outlets. Uh, in the garage that support the amperage I need for this welder. So all these extension cords probably a total of 100 feet I need to go through the house to the outlet I need to run the welder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these hooked up real quick. All right, so I got my extension cords snaked all the way through the house. We're ready to rock, ready to go ahead and plug in our welder here. So we'll go ahead and Get all this set up. So I got my workspace pretty much all set up. Everything's plugged in and ready to rock. The last thing I need to do to finish this piece is just put on this V-band clamp on the end here. It's the last piece. The other side's already done. Everything else is ready to go. This is all I need to put on to finish this piece. And this piece is what I'm gonna use to show you how I've done this. So of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is just finish cleaning up my surfaces here. I got it mostly cleaned up, just a little bit more cleaning. I got some cleaners here and some other tools to get it all ready. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just tack welder on and then we'll start putting the bead around. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and tacked on. So here's the settings that I use. I like to turn and burn. So I like to keep the heat pretty high. I set it up around here, around three o'clock. And then I go ahead and I like to crank the wire speed because I mean, like I said, turn and burn, baby. I just ramp this up and I just burn it in as fast as possible to get a nice pool of uh, metal going, which is how you get that nice flow. And uh, that's how you get those results. Basically high heat, high speed, and uh, you know, lots of practice. All right, we're all tacked up. So all I just gotta do is put the bead around. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying that bead. Play some nice calming music as we roll the bead. And then I'll show you the final result when we're done. So after a little bit of a rough start, but some careful adjustments during the process, I ended up getting a little extra slag over the place. I gotta clean up a little bit, but I cleaned it up here as we go around and I got a nice clean bead as we went around the plate. And yeah, it was just the start. I didn't quite have it where I wanted it, I guess. And uh, yeah, I got a little extra slag, but it's not that much. I can clean this up pretty easily. And uh, yeah, this finishes up this whole piece. I have all the other ones done and yeah, this piece is ready 
to rock. All right, so after some cleaning up, here is the finished results. I mean, look at that. That is what I call flow, baby. Now there is a little bit of a flat spot up here where I had to kind of clean up some of that slag, but otherwise it cleaned up pretty dang good if I do have to say so myself. And there you go. That's how I was able to get those professional results with some of the cheapest equipment around. It does take a little bit of practice. Like I said, I've been doing this a while. Uh, I've been welding for uh, probably just over a year now at the time of recording this video. So it's been a very long time and I've definitely watched so many YouTube videos. Um, you know, I just definitely feel like I'm an expert at this point in time. Uh, so that's why I want to share the things I found and how you can get beautiful pieces like that with just simple, simple, cheap equipment like this. And all it takes is some thinking outside the box and practice. And that's how we can achieve this. Remember, believing is seeing. Now you know. So that's finally gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next Cars Creative video.